like it, I'll, I'll memorize it. <laughs> it's new. It's it old by this revision. Dust so, it all. Okay, uh, it's new. Say what? I just love saying it. <laughs> all right, this is called Wings. It was a beautiful sunny day. Blue skies, the wind caressed my scalp, leaned back. I wanted to spread my arms like eagles, and I was listening to the new Erica Badu CD. Mm -hmm. right. Then I saw this billboard with a child, back turned, facing the sky, standing on what appeared to be a pier, head tilted back like wing, wind caressing scalp, arm was spread like angel wings prepared for flight, already to receive and embrace. There was an invisible light figure on the side, and the billboard stated boldly, Dads are wings for kids. And that billboard did exactly what it's supposed to do. Strike the thickest nerve of the paternal parent that has questioned or have been questioned about his duties. And it did. Because right then, I pushed pause on the CD player, stroked my salt and pepper hairs on my chin, checked myself and served mental court papers on my soul because I realized I'm not the father I should be. I'm not the father I want to be. Because there are so many people's ideas poured into our ideal selves, idealistically, being a father should be easy. But right then I had to ease up off myself. Because there are so many years I've been, I've ripped my heart with a cat of nine tails because of females' tails or how I created families to destroy them. And I rem reminisced of the battles I had with single mothers who had singled me out. And they say a good man finished last. But they're the first ones to often catch hair when the relationship don't work. Despite all the men that have dogged them out in the past and baby daddies who ain't never donated a dime, cats like me are more of a bad guy than the bad guys, but sometimes some women use the children as a means to be addictive. Mm -hmm. So this poem is for all the invisible men who are pondering and making strategies without using violence to see their kids, those who want to be their wings, things happen where mom and daddy don't work. So mommy sometimes punish daddy but not letting daddy see baby and tell that child that daddy left us. Mm -hmm. Our daddy don't want to be with us no more, and that takes away daddy's layers of thick skin, but somehow daddy still fight through it and do what he can to provide outside the home, but that's never good enough. And those shoes you bought is a size too small, but through it all, that child want to be close to daddy, but mama don't like that, so she pour poison in that child's ear. Mm -hmm. So that child hears that the reason daddy's not here, because daddy's new girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Oh, and since it's coming from mommy, oh, it's got to be the truth. So daddy loses his heart. But daddy still fights to be a part of that child's life. So mommy comes up with rules, regulations, and stipulations for visitation, constantly reminding you of your shortcomings. Oh, and the economy's gotten rough, so you've been laid off, so you end up with more shortcomings. Money ain't coming like it used to. Daddy really no good now. Now it seems like the child don't want to see daddy no more. Daddy loses his mind. So you gotta tiptoe with your eyes closed and accept that's how it goes and be the sacrificial land where you really won't go ham or go crazy, but you still look for a way. Sometimes invisibility is not by choice. We all have demons we battle with, and not all demons are born in hell. And a father's absence ain't always because he chooses to be absent. Sometimes maniacal mothers Photoshop erase your existence, make father taste like failure, smell like you're no good, sound like I don't want to live no more, but I gotta fight. Because I want to see my children soar. Because there's too many children without wings who are longing for that deep voice to encourage them to fly. Wow. Yeah, we are, we are, we have Sam teams representing the upstate, y'all. Uh, real quick, I gotta, I gotta make this plug because it's very important. This is why I really ask for y'all support because um, there's this two largest competitions in the nation. One is uh, sponsored by PSI as a National Poetry Slam competition. Then there's the Southern Fire Slam competition, <coughs> which consists of uh, the Southern states. So we, it's like 34 teams. Now the national competition is 17 <coughs> teams. And we're gonna take my team, the Say What team, uh, to the nationals. It's in Boston, Massachusetts this year. It's right. And we, haven't, I, we haven't had a team almost five years in that national competition. So we're gonna go back and represent and the way it works, we have you know people compete with their poems, and we take the top five scores, and they represent our team. And uh, yeah, that's how it works. And with Southern Fried, uh, we've been there every year, and we just had it in last year in uh, Tampa Bay, Ybor City. And uh, 
my team out of 34 teams came in 11. Wow. And uh, Johnny C. Weaver, my, was on my team, he ranked seven out of 160 something poets. Right. So, uh, as a coach, I felt a little proud of that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we had tried to get the bid uh, for Greenville, because it's a four day event. Uh, you got 200 plus poets coming in with their entourages. Uh, it's a fun event. Uh, but we lost to New Orleans for 2013. So it's gonna be in New Orleans this year. Yeah, sorry, we lost about one vote. Wow. But don't worry, because we won 2014. So in Greenville, South Carolina. 2014, from 4 to 7, Southern Pride Port is gonna be here downtown four days. It's gonna be crazy, y'all. So we need y'all support because the final stage is gonna be, well, we, we need one more uh, reference. Uh, it's gonna be at the Peace Center. Oh, yeah, the final show that Saturday, the seventh. Uh, I'm putting it out there that it's gonna be at the Peace Center. We we getting it in, though. Yes, <laughs> but it seats the main theater seats 2,100 people. We need y'all. We want to fill that up. Mm -hmm. That's my plug. All right. Next up, let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. Port you good. Port you good. Port you good. I tried to told y'all. Let's give some love to Mike. The weirdest poet grace. I like that. <laughs> now give love, y'all. All the way, all the way, all the way. I heard the reputation as the weirdest poet originally in Detroit, Michigan for a reason. Do you see a book or a piece of paper? Oh, of course not. <laughs> Hands free? Okay. All right. We have, I'm also a stand-up comedian, and this is I a game it. called What's My Line? Oh. I will come up with a poem on the spot, right here, right now, only I have no idea what it will be because it will come from you. Ooh. So, picking a food you hate, can I hear a food you hate? Asparagus. 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 There we go. <laughs> Asparagus reminds me of spears. Putting on the plate, I think I'll pass. Not only haven't I eaten in years, but every time I have it, it gives me gas. It's disgusting. If you try to fry it, it turns into a brick. As far as I'm concerned, put the asparagus can suck my kneecaps. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. All right. Mike, you're awesome. Mike, you <laughs> All right. The next one. Let's see. Brussels sprouts. Well, favorite animal. <laughs> Frogs are awesome, partly because I own a website that's called Totally Hosting. I do website hosting. That's oh, part of my cool. living. So thank you for the choice. All right. Leap. Leap. The sound of a croak. I awake in the morning. My head's still broke. I feel a bit put out, but I'm enjoying the song. Tree frogs singing in the early morning breeze, cascading into my room through the rustling leaves. It's a pleasure compared to where I used to be, where airplanes and trains were all I heard and could see. Thank you. All right. All right. Shall we have one more? Yes, please. Yeah. All right, let's see. <clears throat> a worst moment. A worst moment. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> That's an easy one to come up with if you mm. think about it. Just you wrecked on this, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're alone. <laughs> you are alone. Don't <laughs> <laughs> be a little too tacky. Let's try for another Break one. Breakup. Hmm? Breakup. Breakup? Alright, last one. Okay. <laughs> Why don't we combine the two? <laughs> you broke up because of Rick Tyler's <laughs> down the aisle, getting ready to be hand in hand. We're supposed to be bride and groom, best woman, and best man. We get to the altar, and everything will change. My day goes to hell in a moment. This day is really strange. My bride-to-be looks at me and says, I'm done. Because when it comes to everything that should matter, you are absolutely no fun. In fact, every time in bed is a complete waste of time because every time I look at you, you go down like a stack of dimes. Oh. 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 Okay. One more? Man, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see. 
your deepest wish? To the ranch. Okay. Not to have the ranch out of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that I would. No, that's, 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 that's what they got a log for. It's called an implant. Take a hammer and a hammer. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. No, seriously. Truly, let's hear something from a truly deep in this No student loans. No student loans? Yeah. <laughs> Here's my deepest wish for my children to be absolutely sincere that the buck starts and the box stops right here. That a nation once powerful like Goliath, not so deep in debt, that I could give them the gift that they would never forget. Mm -hmm. An education to develop who they are, to build, to walk like Christ. But when those bills come in this month, that feeling really isn't so nice. Mm. Mm. Wow. Brackets, you know, head to head, Sweet 16, Elite Ooh. 8, stuff like that. So, our item tonight, our feature, it's Fire. We're going to pick the best movies with fire in the title. Oh, oh. No, oh. they ain't supposed to be no, oh. Ain't no, oh. Ring of Fire. <laughs> Wait, why are we going to start with All right, we're going to start off with this, and we, we'll get back to our <coughs> set. All right. Y'all going to be kind of. 70s baby to know this movie, maybe. St. Elmo's Fire. Yeah. Maybe I like, mm. <laughs> like the whole young section right here. Yeah. <laughs> I was born in 89, dog. You talking about? <laughs> Wanna be your man in motion? Versus Chariots of Fire. Chariots. Chariots. Okay, Chariots. Okay. All right. So y'all understand how it's going to go. All right, cool. Yeah. All right. So anyway, let's bring up our next poet. We have two more poets. We'll bring our feature up, then we go with the second half. All right. The only, where you at, bro? Yeah. He's out there. Wait a minute, wait, wait. I'm gonna clap you. We come in, we're gonna say boo backwards. I know we gonna have a nigga be there. He's coming. All right, y'all, give some love to the only. Woo. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up. All the way up. So this is a new one? Yeah, it's a new poem. Uh -oh. Say, Say what? what? It's not deny us. They kicked the whole song. I'm burning for a release from my demons. Fiending lions to fix the timid. Fiending lions to fix the timid, timid seeming. The shook ones, I took the poison on my lips and kissed the air of life with half an intention to love my symptoms. Uh, sensing this harmony, I, I pulled a silly plaid and killed my karma, hardly a self-killing. Myself is drenched in night terror sweats as I count my novel nightmares as new math. It doesn't change anything to be crazy, but the path I chose has made me the poster boy of impatience. Playing doctor to you all, you are my patients. To heal your troubles, I die on stage. <clears throat> I heard once that somewhere there is an old soul who Shoots to say snake, mm -hmm. saying, and like him, these lines are the bullets that keep me safe from the dangers mm -hmm. I sense when I catch hints at your crass word, the killer in me you confirm. Blasphemy to the spirit, the word is God, and God is in the pen strokes. Sometimes even I don't get what I want. But in my parallel universe, fear is hope. Terror wow. is bliss. Missing is returning. <laughs> I have a natural inclination to respect the equilibrium of heaven and earth, so I balance... Uh, so I balance psychic sensitivity with vice. Callous intentions split down to the roots of my sting in the flesh. No one will ever know what I did to earn them, so I spit because I'm troubled. I spit because my troubles have voices. I spit out the copper taste. What I kill, I face. 